Hello, this is Rocky Patel, CrackLifestyle.com, and today I want to talk about, you know, website design and, you know, how to make a website functional. Typically, when people come to a website, they need to know what you offer within a half a second or they'll, they might just leave. And, like, you need to make it to where a five-year-old kid could look at your website and know exactly what you have to offer. And, you know, like, your website name needs to, like, kind of, you know, be, you know, it's nice if it explains what you have, but you need to make it to where as soon as somebody comes to your website, you have, like, you know, your website name, and then, you know, your product offer and your tagline explains what you have, like, product lifestyle. Uh, helping people prosper or chronic lifestyle energize essential oils and crystals so they know exactly you know what I have to offer you know right off the bat or they're gonna leave and all these fancy images where it's like it might look really cool or you might have this slider where these things are all sliding across and the image is changing like every every few seconds all that does is like distracts people and it's all fluff and on mobile this is going to look terrible and what it does it slows your website down because now these days if your website doesn't load fast people are going to leave because you know i don't know if you've been on a website where it just takes a long time to load where like the little thing is spinning or you know it's like you go to the website and it takes like two seconds to load where people are going to leave and the reason why it's so heavy to load is because it's loaded down with all of these images that aren't optimized. And there are ways to like, you know, condense the files. Um, but typically like images or video files are very big files. And if you're not optimizing them down, it slows down your website like big time. And it'll, it'll increase your bounce rate. So, you know, when, you, when people come to your website, you need, you need to have your product offer like right there where they know what you have to offer and your number one offer is like right there. Like say if you're in the rose oil business, as soon as they come to your website, you know, instead of like, you know, talking about whatever, you know, you should be talking about rose oil right there at the top. And, you know, if you want to have a small image, you can have it there. Um, but it, and there should, there should be a thing where they can click it and it takes them to the product page. Or you can have it when they come to your product page, you know, their, your website, you have your categories are right there where they can easily see what you have to offer. Like say if you have aromatherapy, and like I have like aromatherapy, crystals, healing packages, you know, it's like all right there when you come to the website. And you have to test out, you have to be able to see what people are looking at. And we use what's called heat maps. And I use a software called Lucky Orange where I can see actual videos of every visitor and actually see live what people are doing on my website. And it also produces heat maps. So I can see what people are scrolling on, what they're clicking on. And the way this works is like, say my navigation, you know, every, every you know, couple weeks a couple you know a couple months I actually changed my navigation depending on the heat maps like right now I have on the on the top like master chokok sui then I had like um like quartz crystals or crystals aromatherapy online course and you know consult with me or something and and I think I have like rings or something um but for a long time, you know, even though like my number one products or are crystals, nobody was clicking on, nobody was, was, you know, hovering over with their mouse or their finger, um, quartz crystals. So I had to change it, what it says to like, um, quartz healing crystals or like quartz power crystals or whatever. And then I go and look and see maybe now people are clicking on it. And then, like, the ones that people aren't clicking on, I either change what's there completely or just remove it. And, you know, I say I have, like, different, you know, like, 
different things on my website, like I'm offering rings and crystals. Like right now, when I was on my website looking at the heat map, people were, were hovering over because it's like shows up like dark red. Uh, you know, like that's what people are looking at. But there might be one image where there's nobody, you know, looking at it or hovering over it or like clicking on that image. So that tells me that nobody's interested in that. So I'll change what's there. And then I wait a week or two, let a couple hundred people, a thousand people come to my website and see if people are starting to look at it. And then once you got all your things in your navigation, you know, which is like your menu, when all of them are getting like little, you know, people are clicking on all of them, then now your website is optimized. But typically people's websites, there might be one or two or none of them getting any, any action or love. So you actually have to like go in and change it. And then like even at the very bottom of your website, you know, like you might have like your blog or like, you know, about me page or whatever or, uh, you know, different things. Um, you have to be know if like people are actually interested in that because if they're not, then you have to change what's there. And typically the farther something is on your web page, the less people look at it like more you know, like it's much more action at the very top and then like towards the middle it drops off and then like at the very bottom very few people make it to the bottom and actually are clicking on the little things at the bottom and so you have to make sure that you know what's down there is actually good and people are actually wanting to see it and that's called using heat maps and I also watch videos of my visitors where I can see, you know, video recordings of all the people who come to my website, what they're clicking on, what they're looking at, what they're leaving, right? And depending on what they're doing on the website, like say if they're they're like clicking around and then they 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 go to my about me page and then they leave, and you keep seeing people doing that. Well, it's like, hey, you know, what's on my about me page? needs to change because people are leaving and you know it could be on your cart page where you know you have your add to cart and then and the stuff is in your in their shopping cart and they're coming all that way you know they're coming to your website you're clicking around and now they got something in their cart but then they leave and you so you gotta be like okay this this person came to my website and they put in their shopping cart and then they left it's called an abandoned cart and why are they leaving? And, you know, this affects your conversion rate. And typically, like, a 2% conversion rate is considered good, which means two, two out of every 100 people actually buy something. Um, and, like, my, mine, like, was, like, 1% or, like, 0.08%. And, you know, I'm still making a lot of money, because I have like high ticket products, but I'm working right now to improve that. And you know, what I did was like, I've been watching videos of all my customers and you know, seeing where they're dropping off at. And like right now on my, on my, my cart page, where they added the cart and it's showing what's in their cart, I'm making my logo and my, um, my, um, you know, questions, call us now. Uh, like, I'm, I, you know, I have my phone number there. Well, the logo is a little bit, a little bit too tight, like a little bit congested looking where the all the text is like really um, kind of hard to read. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to change that. And then also on the cart page, you know, the, there's stuff on the bottom, like when you typically see on the website that, that was called the footer, where it shows like the about me page and all this stuff well that's showing up on the cart page and so it's kind of a distraction because when people come to your website you want them to be focused and not be distracted so if they've got stuff in their shopping cart and then they're ready to buy well I don't want them going off and clicking on my blog or going to my Facebook page or doing whatever it's like I want them to finish purchasing Right? I don't want to distract them. Like a lot of people, like they, they have stuff on their cart page, like 
oh, here's my Twitter, here's my Instagram, here's my Facebook. Well, they're, they're sitting there about to buy it and like, oh, yeah, let me go check out their Facebook. And next thing you know, they're on Facebook watching cat videos and they're not buying their abandoned car. And there's ways around the abandoned car and we'll talk about that in the next video. But, but, what, but what you can do is like, like with Lucky Orange, we can actually see live what people are looking at. So when somebody comes to my website, it makes like a dinging sound, like they walked in the door and I can see live what they're looking at and if they actually put something in their shopping cart and then, then they're about to, you know, you know they, they're just stuck there and they're just sitting there, I can pop up a chat and say, hey, can I help you with something? Because they might have a question about the shipping or they might have a question about something that's keeping them from buying where I actually can go in and save that sale by engaging with them and letting them know that there's real people behind the website. So using heat maps is very important. All right, we'll talk to you on the next video. Bye-bye.